Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. <laughs> uh, this is a 3D printing pen uh, that I recently purchased. And it's for my daughter for Christmas. And I thought before I just wrapped it up and gave it to her, I would actually take it out of the box and make sure the thing works. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. So let's get on with it. Right, so yes, as I mentioned, this is for my daughter. Uh, she asked for one of these for Christmas. I don't quite know where she's got the idea from, but, but anyway, she's asked for one and uh, I don't see a reason not to get her one. And uh, I must admit, I've always been sort of fascinated with the idea of these things. So uh, I got this one from uh, Amazon. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. Um, I don't know if it's any good or not. That's what we're gonna find out. So let's take it out of the box and have a look. Uh, oh god, hang on. Ooh. Right. Oh god, it won't fit under the camera. Uh, <laughs> there we go, that'll do. Um, now, they give you some filament for it, uh, which is, oh, nicely shrink wrapped, which is good. And you can see there it says PLA, and that's one of the reasons I picked this one uh, over some of the other ones, because you can get these kind of like kids' ones which use um, PCL, which prints at a much lower temperature. Uh, but this one, this pen will apparently handle both PLA and ABS. So it obviously gets a lot hotter. Um, I mean, my daughter's 11, she's not stupid. She'll be all right with it. Uh, but yeah, so let's get all this out of the way. So they give you this with it. I mean, obviously I've got tons of PLA. That's one of the reasons I got one that would work with PLA because I've got a lot of it, so that one that one hasn't shrink that very well, but never mind. Um, so there's all kinds of different colours they give you, which you'll like. Uh, let's see, what have we got here? That's a, a sheet of plastic. I'm not quite sure what that's for. Right. 3D pen copy painting. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, this must be the instructions. Oh, I see what this is for. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, I like that. So this is like a book of um, of templates almost, if you like. So what you do is you, you copy these and then you can stick them together and it makes the object at the bottom. I like that, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'll give us some ideas anyway. Okay. Right. Oh, I like that. That's nice. <laughs> right, let's put that to one side. Uh, operation instructions. I get a feeling these are going to be written in weapons grade Chineseium. But, uh, okay, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we've got the, the power input hole, <laughs> the Lord filament button. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's fine. Um, this actually does cover one of the reasons I bought this. Um, this one uh, is, a lot of these are like USB powered, but this one is actually, I don't know if you can see that, 12 volts. So, because most of these, like the, the, the kids' ones, if you like, are um, 5 volts. And this one's 12 volts, so it's a bit more powerful. So, let's put that to one side. So, we've got this. This is kind of like a base to put the pen in when you're not using it. So, that's fine. And here is... Oh, now what are these? Oh, I think they're to... Are they to go on your fingers? <laughs> I think they're to go on your fingers. They're like thimbles. Interesting. Okay. Right. Oh, I can't get off them. Let's pull this to one side and then we'll get it set up and plugged in and see what we can do with it. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, operating instructions. Because funnily enough, some of us do read the instructions. Uh, 
plug the AC adapter into electrical outlet, blah, 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 other end of the DC plug into the power input hole on the end of this drawing pen. Uh, yellow LED lights on, equipment is power on, and enter to standby model. Okay. <laughs> uh, LCD will display the words PLA or ABS. Choose the right material uh, model, material selection, temperature adjusting from the LCD screen. Selection must be the same as the material attribute consistent, comma, in order to avoid failure. Uh, okay. Keep on pressing the load filament button. The red light LED lights on shows that minutes later when the red light turns to blue shows preheating finished and the equipment can start to work. Okay. <laughs> I hope you're all paying attention because there'll be a test at the end. Right, I think what they mean is... Right, so plug it in. Oh, blimey, that's, that's it. Okay, so we've got a yellow light there. It says PLA, which is what we want. Uh, just so you know, while this is doing what it's doing, uh, the PLA that I'm going to use, or the filament I'm going to use, is this. Uh, this is eSun PLA Plus. This is what I use in my 3D printer. Because I want to see if it actually works with this. So let's have a look uh, again at the instructions. Um, Keep on pressing the load filament button, which is this one here. Oh, it shows you the temperature. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. I don't, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, it actually tells you the temp line. That heats up quick. But then I suppose it would because it's only a little tiny nozzle. Right. Okay, so keep doing that until the red light turns blue. I'm just wondering, actually, if there's a way to adjust the temperature or not. Right, so it hasn't gone blue, it's gone green. But it's stopped at 190 degrees. I wonder if I can actually... Oh, I can you can adjust the temperature manually because this eSun works better at a higher temperature. So I'm going to set it to 210 degrees. Okay, so that should be 210. So insert the filament into the hole. Click the load filament button. Right, so... Oh, I don't want to put this down because I don't know how hot the end of the nozzle is going to get. So let's pop that in there. Press the load filament button. Oh, there it goes. Whoop. Oh, well, there's something coming out the end. Okay. Let's move these instructions out the way for a minute. So, well, there's filament coming out the end. <laughs> let's, let's see if we can uh, draw something. Oh, right, let's get rid of that. Okay, right, now. Uh, Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this tile here, and I'm going to see if I can draw something. Whoop! Oh. Well, that's something. <laughs> Let's see if we can fill this in.
Well, that seems to work. Now let's see if we can uh, make something actually three-dimensional. Let's see if we can go up. Oh, uh, this is going to be interesting. How are we going to do this? Oh. <laughs> okay, that didn't quite work as intended. But still, it works. That's the most important thing. Um, okay, well, it works. So what I want to do now is basically put it back in the box. But I think this is this is going to be something that's going to need to be practiced with. Um, I think it might be easier to do things um, to sort of print things like this and then join them up afterwards. Because you see, what I'm wondering actually, whether it might be uh, possible to get a like a desktop spool holder I'm just wondering if the motor on this would be powerful enough to actually turn a spool because I'm running out of filament here I'm just wondering if there's going to be enough to finish this thing off well That's not bad, is it, for a first go? And I think the thing works. Wonderful stuff. So, yeah, that was all I wanted to do, really, was just make sure the thing actually worked. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this now. I'm gonna, well, I've got to try and get the filament out of it. So, uh, advise to unload the filament when finished using. Uh, equipment was switched to standby mode automatically when not used over five minutes. The working indicator will off. If need to use again, press need to press the load filament button to make it back to work. When you need to uninstall or replace the filament, replace, replace steps two. Click the line back button will automatically back up. Oh, there we go. Cool. And then that so it says that stops after 20 seconds, so there we go. Right, let's see if there's anything. Well, there we go. I think that was a fairly successful first test that in the little holder. Just pop that off of there and there we go, you see? <laughs> That's I quite like that. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. And while I'm just doing this, I'd like to uh, say a thank you to my top tier patrons, Amy, Edwin and Howard, for their ongoing support. It is, as always, much appreciated. 
I think I'm starting to get the hang of this now. I can hear the motor slowing down. I'm just wondering, because I'm printing such a large volume, whether it's actually having trouble keeping the, uh, the nozzle heated sufficiently. But it seems to be managing all right. And pop that off of there. That doesn't look too bad, does it? <laughs> Compared to my previous efforts. <laughs> Right, let's see if we can weld this to the bottom. I think more practice is needed, but uh, yeah, I think I think I think this thing has potential. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that'll do. Let's take the filament out. So again, just got to press the, and it just feeds it back out again. And there we go. Let's just get that bit off the nozzle. Well, that's not a bad bit of kit, I don't think. I think it's time to uh, wrap this up. And here is our, um, well, kind of finished. <laughs> <laughs> article. Uh, you can see there was a definite improvement as I uh, as I proceeded. Um, but yeah, I think it's uh, an interesting little bit of kit and I think my daughter's going to have a lot of fun with this. So I should reiterate uh, that this was uh, not given to me or anything. I bought this out of my own money. So uh, this is not sponsored anyway. It's just I thought I would try this thing before I gave it to her. And uh, it seems to work pretty well. So I think it's going to take some, some getting used to, obviously, but uh, yeah, I think she's, she's going to have fun with this. So yes, hopefully uh, this has given you a, a very, very brief insight into the wonderful world of 3D printing pens. And uh, I think as we progress with it and as she uh, gets to grips with it, we'll, we might do some more videos on this in the future. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, as ever, you're more than welcome to come and join us in the... Uh, in the staff canteen on Facebook and uh, if you happen to feel flush as ever you're more than welcome to come and support me on Patreon. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.